Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. Okay, so let's jump into it. The very first one we have is going to be Quantira Absolute Du Nuet Perfume. This is a gorgeous, bitter almond fragrance. Uh, it has some pink pepper, bergamot, and tonka bean in it, but absolutely beautiful fragrance and quite affordable. I have Rolling in Love by Killian. Let me clean it up for you so that you can see it. Rolling in Love by Killian. Of course, if you haven't heard about Rolling in Love, then it's like an almond milk amberette type fragrance. Very gorgeous with a touch of tuberose. I want to take you back to an oldie but goodie. I don't know if people still have this one in their collection, but this is Armani Cold Cashmere. This is hard to come by. So I don't know if I'm ever going to take this one out of my collection. It pulls really nutty for me. Uh, a lot of like almond milk, but gorgeous fragrance. Hard to find right now. I want to say this one is discontinued. Okay, This is one from the house of oud and it's called benevolence a uh another bitter almond type fragrance but it has a bit of a uh, smokiness to it or should i say spiciness because it has that star anise in it along with some sugar and madagascar vanilla outside the fact that this is a gorgeous bottle absolutely beautiful bottle so I have that one. I have myrrh and tonka. This one here I use a lot for layering uh, simply because it's, it's just that. It's a fragrance that doesn't really last very long, uh, but, but you get a lot of nice tonka bean myrrh base to it. Uh, but I have it in the category with my almond fragrances because there is a note of vanilla and almond in it. And honestly, I just use it a lot when I'm layering my nutty fragrances, so I keep it there. So that's Myrrh and Tonka by Joe Malone. I have Perfect Intense. Uh, I wasn't really that fond of Perfect uh, by itself, but Perfect Intense was absolutely amazing to me. Uh, just look at the packaging of this. So that is also in my nutty category or my nutty collection. This one is a good one. If you haven't heard of Kiss Me Intense, uh, I have a small bottle of it. I kind of wish I would have went ahead and got the larger bottle. And I always say that <laughs> when I take this one out. Um, it I have it sectioned off in my almond fragrances because it's another one of those bitter almond kind of lemon-based um uh, Heliotrope, orange blossom. Like this is such a complicated yet sexy fragrance. So kiss me intense. I have a Montal. I don't know if you can really even see this one. Uh, I'm just trying to take some of the glare off of it. I'll pull it back. This one here is Sweet Oriental Dream. This one is another one of the ones that... I always it it sometimes gets on the chopping block because it does have uh it has a note in it like this night blossoming jasmine that sometimes is it's heavy in jasmine but then the 
almond comes in and then that sandalwood in a base, it just makes it beautiful. So I haven't gotten rid of it yet. So this is, uh, and I'm trying to get it out the glare. This is Sweet Oriental Dream. Here's an oldie but goodie. This is a uh, Helotrope by R Reminiscence. This is an OG fragrance. Oh, this is a gorgeous one. This is an OG fragrance. And it, again, is one of the ones that I'm just not ready to separate with. Uh, every time someone comes over, they want it because it has like this green note to it and, and fig. It's almost like you get the whole fig. And then it's it's topped off with almond and like a vanilla sandalwood note to it. But on my skin, it's just like a creamy almond. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is Helotrope. You know I have to have Italica. Italica is, you just cannot have a nutty collection and not have Italica. Italica is just pure D, almond, milk, taffy, vanilla. You have to like sweet. You have to like sweet. So that's where having a smaller bottle of it because I think it's going to take me a while to get rid of this one or to even wear it out because when I wear it, I can't, I can't be heavy. I can't be heavy with it. So I have Italica. And to round off my almond collection, I have Almond Harmony. Almond Harmony is just, it's a, um, it's almost like a mature almond type fragrance. There is vanilla tonka bean and musk in it and heliotrope and ylang ylang. But then there's an iris, like a powdery iris note to it. That's where I kind of feel like it could, it could actually go in with my iris floral fragrances along with my almond fragrances. But I have it, uh, I have it sectioned off in my almond fragrance. So this rounds off my almond collection. Hazelnut is such a unique note. Um, I think with hazelnut, you can almost sometimes go too far. Uh, but these are the five hazelnuts that uh, I decided to keep into my collection. So we're going to start off with Sand uh, Sandalson or Sandalson. I'm not quite sure by, uh, by the... I want to say this is by... Who is this by? Hermantrix, I think. I'm not quite sure. I can't think of the one who makes this, but I know the notes is hazelnut, vanilla, and myrrh. It's a very simple fragrance, but it was one of the ones that was with hazelnut that I, I, I enjoyed, so I kept it. This is one of my newer ones, La Gourmand. You have to love Gourmand. And this is by Josette, right? But you have to love Gourmand. It is a powerhouse fragrance. Oh, it's like walking around smelling like a, like a cupcake, <laughs> honestly. Uh, so you have to, but I will admit you have to like, uh, gourmand because this has butter, toast, salt, cookie dough, and hazelnut spread in it, right? So it's a very heavy gourmand fragrance. So La Gourmand is the perfect name for it. Now this one here is Choco Violet. This, you would think that it would be like chocolate, right? You would say chocolate and violet is what this would be based on that name. But no, actually it's hazelnut, orange, bergamot, and it does have dark chocolate in it, but it's more hazelnut than it is chocolate. Uh, so that's why I have it inside of my hazelnut section. And to round off hazelnut, this one here uh, was actually meant for men. And uh, it's, I love it. And it's Valentino um, Uma. And this one is going to give you bergamot, hazelnut, chocolate, and coffee bean. So this could be in the coffee section. This could be in chocolate. It is such a gorgeous one. But this one is Valentino Oma.
okay? These last three are going to be the pistachios that I have in my collection. And I'll be honest with you, I really need to get more pistachio. <laughs> of course, I have uh, yum pistachio gelato. Yum, yum pistachio gelato. No, I, oh, no, it's just yum pistachio gelato, right? And I mean, it's, what's to say about it? This is pistachio ice cream, basically. That is what this fragrance is. Great layering uh, fragrance. Uh, if you want to kind of run out uh, in a fragrance, this one would be a great one to go with. This one here is my Girl of Now Shine. I had the whole collection at one point of Girl of Now, and I ended up with this one here is Girl of Now Shine. I had the whole Girl of Now collection at one point. Uh, I had all of them. I had the gold top, the original, and then I stuck with this one here. This one, I think I ended up liking it because it it had the pi the pistachio note, but it was had pear and pineapple and uh, man mandarin orange. So this one really could be worn if you want to, like, say on a hot day, just want to be fresh with a little nutty note, then this would be a good one. And the last one I have is actually the perfume version of... So Chorizo 62. Uh, I honestly use this as a layering fragrance, but this is uh, I have it with pistachio because it just it just smells like pistachio and almond. Um, if you know what the body spray smells like, then you would know what the fragrance is. It's just pistachio and almond. So these are all right. I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We only went over uh, probably just one category in this video. i make sure that I list right here what it is that we were talking about. If you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know. I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.